Good morning, Spartans. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. And if you're not, well, that's too bad. As you may have guessed by the many skateboards on the desk today, we're talking about scooters. You scare me sometimes. We're talking about skateboards, but not before news and announcements. Here's some of your top stories for today. Safety regulators have issued a warning against the Peloton treadmill after a child while it was running. There have been 39 of these incidents recently, with the majority of them being injuries. Peloton issued a statement saying the information is inaccurate and misleading. The company said that as long as pets and children are kept away from the machine and lock the door to the room that the machine is in, everything should be okay. But the safety commission disagrees, as a few incidents have occurred while the parent is on the treadmill. Hank Johnson, a 52-year-old superfan and well-known stalker, was arrested after he tried to break into Taylor Swift's New York City Tribeca apartment. He was trying to force himself into the apartment Saturday evening until the cops arrived due to a 911 caller reporting a break-in at the building. For the past six months, Johnson has showed up to the apartment and has rang the doorbell at least five times. He has also sent multiple direct messages to Swift's Instagram account. He was charged with criminal trespassing and released his own recognizance. Johnson describes himself as a motivational speaker and his goal is to make a presentation at her request in order to be back on top. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The weight room will close at 5 p.m. every day this week. See Coach Golosky or Coach Gelati with any questions. So, on top of having a really cool skateboard show. It's not that cool. I'm going to ignore that comment. Uh, but we also have our very own Mr. Avellino joining us. So, Mr. Avellino will tell us, tell us a bit about what you've brought and about what skateboarding means to you. So, when I was a little kid in the 60s, uh, the skateboards that we had were we used for... Um, just having fun. We would go to our friend's house, we would go to Central Park because I grew up in uh, just outside of New York City, and we would skateboard down hills on these skateboards. You can see it's a little bit smaller than <laughs> what John has here. Yeah, this, this one's my skateboard, this long one here. All right, so Mr. Adelino, what was your first skateboard? First skateboard was the red one. It's a Chicago skateboard, and it has metal wheels. The urethane wheels didn't come into play until the 70s. All right, and so out of all of the boards that you have, which one is your favorite board? Favorite board has to be the very last one, the yellow one, mm -hmm. because this is a progression, all five of these skateboards. The yellow one is one that you could do tricks on. It had a little backstop. If you lift up the bottom there, you can see the red stopper. Um, you couldn't do that with any, any, any of the others. Oh, cool. All right, what, is, what would you say are the differences between skateboarding back then versus now? Um, I wish I was skateboarding now because this is transportation. It's smooth. <laughs> it's quiet. Um, the metal wheels you would hear coming down the hill. So it was great Imagine. when you had people in front of you because they knew you were coming. Uh, as long as you remember to oil those wheels as well. Yeah. And then our final question for you is what is like, what was the most popular board? Like what was the board to have? The board to have right at that time was the Gordon Nash board here. Uh, Gordon, it's, a, it's a Gordon Goofy board. Uh, it was the board to have because it was probably one of the first boards that had uh, suspension underneath it in addition to the urethane wheels. Uh, and then you can see these, these wheels are kind of thin. Um, and then as progression went on, they get thicker and thicker. So the riding is a lot smoother and it's a lot more fun. Very cool. Right. And you had an announcement for us before we go to weather? Yes, I'd also like to welcome back uh, our new students that have come back to school today for the very first time. Uh, also, our seniors that are coming back four days a week. Uh, so just a reminder, we have to wear these masks when you come into the building. Uh, make sure you're stylish. Make sure you look great. You're professional. I also want to remind people that when you come into the building, uh, everybody up until ninth grade through 11th, you have to report to the cafeteria first. So you sign in, go to the cafeteria. Seniors can be seated in the small gymnasium. Right. And with that, just welcome back, everybody. Let's have a great, great Monday. Well, thank you, Mr. Avellino, for joining us, and we appreciate you coming on and showing off your skateboards. Uh, but now, we're going to send it on over to weather. We 
we will have a high of 65 and a low of 42 degrees. And tonight, we will have a good mix of some sun and clouds with a chance of a shower or two. Tonight, we'll be more cloudy and have some more showers. Wednesday, we'll have a high of 55 and 37 degrees, sorry, high of 55 and a low of 37 degrees and a chance of a morning shower or two. Tuesday, we'll be cooler and have some more clouds. Wednesday, we'll have a high We'll have a high of 44 and a low of 31 degrees, and Wednesday will be much windier and colder with some rain and snow in the early evening and during the afternoon, with a likely chance of a slushy accumulation over higher terrain. And I'm Grayson with your weather. Welcome back. Uh, now it's just going to be really just John talking about skateboards since he's way yeah. more way more of a skateboard fanatic than I am. All right. So what I'm going to talk about is like the difference between skateboards and longboards because I mean these are skateboards and then here this is my longboard. All right, this one's mine. It's ginormous. It's the biggest one I could find. <laughs> obviously, you can my footprint. Um, but longboards are longer. You guessed it. Yep. Um, than regular skateboards. Um, regular skateboards are usually like this long and they have curved edges for doing tricks and stuff like that. Um, like when people yell, do a kickflip, like you can't do that on a longboard. I'd like um, to see you try. I, I think you could. Mm, I'd rather not injure my face. There's, it's very pretty and I'd rather not mess that up. You know what, we'll, we'll agree <laughs> to disagree. You got any more to say about this? Uh, yeah, uh, skateboards, like I said, they're meant for tricks and they're not really for as much travel as longboards are. And you can see Marty McFly um, with a little hoverboard there. Um, but longboards are meant for going like long distances, hence the name, you know, and they're longer. Um, and they usually have bigger wheels, they're thicker. Um, I like longboards more because they're bigger, I'm bigger. And that's and how you get to school. Go farther. That is how I get to school and home usually. Um, and that's a lot of fun after track practice, as you can guess. I'd imagine. <laughs> All right, and now we will take it over to sports with Aiden. Sports. We're gonna start off with upcoming games. We have the boys volleyball team plays at CNS and the girls volleyball team plays at home against FM. The boys varsity volleyball team defeated Chittenango Friday night three games to zero. The Spartans were led by senior Nick Brown with 14 kills while senior Sean Finnerty finished with 11 kills. Senior Devin Moscato Buffalo recorded 28 assists while junior Aiden Betts added seven kills. Sophomore Cole Thomas finished with 18 digs. The Spartans improved to eight to three overall and five and zero oh in league play heading into their final week of play. Varsity football took a tough loss to Whitesboro, 45 to 21 on Saturday. And I actually do have a skateboard here with me as well today, but it's obviously not as cool as those ones over there. But I'm Aiden with your sports. I think your skateboard is pretty cool. I like it. It's cool. It's a, l a little beat up, but little. you can tell that you use it. Well, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you all learned something about skateboards. I mean, I, I did. I sure did, I would yeah. say. Yeah, I did. That's good. I'm glad. Um, <laughs> and then we want to thank Mr. Avellino for coming on with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, from me, John, and everybody else here at the morning show, have a great day. Peace.